Praise the Lord. Greetings and love to you, my dear friends, in the most holy name of Jesus. Our God is a great God. Our God wants all of us to be always united with Him because we are material human beings. We face through so many problems connected with this material world. So we have to be always connected with our God, a God of power, glory, love and mercy. And with Him alone, our lives will be meaningful, will bear fruit. At the same time, He tells us in John 15, 7 and 5, I am the vine, you are my branches. If you are united with me, you will bear fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. Yes, the Lord wants us to be always united with Him. And in Him, we bear the fruit. That's why we read in the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 18, it is the root that sustains the tree. Without the root, the tree cannot survive. Take care of the root of your life. My dear friends, we read in the Old Testament, when Joseph had to go through a lot of problems, God never left him. He gave him the vision. What is the vision? Like the stars, he will shine. Those who belong to the Lord, they will be always high. The one who is in high will take care of them. If we have the vision of the high God. Yes. When Joseph went like that, his own brothers sold him and he went to Egypt. There he was a slave and he was struggling. But the Bible says, because he trusted in God, because he was depending on God, God raised him from a slave boy to the ruler of the nation. What a mighty God. Blessed are those people who always look up and they move with the power of the heaven, the Lord our God. And when the people of Israel, the same brothers who sold Joseph, now they came to Egypt for food and they remained in Egypt. They became a very big nation and soon the Pharaoh king died. But his generation saw these Israelites, Joseph's relatives, Jacob's children growing very much because their root is the Lord. So the king Pharaoh got frightened and he said, we will make these Israelites slaves. And they were going through misery. They forgot their living God. Even in their misery, if they would have called on God, God would have lifted them up. They were living in their own misery. The enemy will always tie us up with oneself, either with self-pride or self-pity. To speak about the greatness of oneself or the misery of oneself. But his game is, you are tied up with yourself. That you don't raise up yourself to see there is someone who loves you, who cares for you, who is sufficient for you. You belong to heaven. Though we are in the world, only with the heavenly power and glory, we can handle the issues of the world. He will never teach. Man, struggling as slavery, cried to God. And God called his servant Moses, who was also called by God with a mighty way. He was about to die. King Pharaoh said to kill the, all the children up to below two years old. All the male children. Moses was to be killed. But his mother said, No, I trust in God. My God will protect my son. When the whole world is running after, frightened of the death of their children, one mother, she knew that we belong to God of Abraham. God of Isaac, God of Jacob, he who protected my fathers will protect my child. She made a box, put it in the Nile River and God raised up King Pharaoh's daughter and saved that little baby. And that baby was supposed to grow in King's palace, Pharaoh's palace. That is the great mighty of God, mighty works of God. Pharaoh, he may be the king. He may 
decide to destroy the Israelites, when God decides who can destroy in the same palace where Pharaoh wanted the Israelites to be killed, God made Moses to grow and sit in the same table and eat as the son of the queen. Yes, God made Moses as grandson of the king. What a mighty God. Don't lose courage. Be united with him. But Moses soon forgot his origin. He thought, I am an Israelite. He never realized Israelite is a name given to you and me. I may be a Tamilian, you may be a Malayali. What is, doesn't matter. Our origin on this earth is not our identity. We come from God. Moses forgot what the Lord did for him. So he saw, I am an Israelite. I have to protect the Israelites. When he saw an Israelite was troubled by an Egyptian, he killed the Egyptian. Sin will meet you. Sin will destroy you. Sin of selfishness, self-pride threw him to the desert. The man who is supposed to be in the palace, sin threw him to the desert with the cattle. But the merciful God calls him once again, Look my son, my people are going through us again. I am God of mercy. I am God of grace. Go in my name. Deliver my people. Moses, he who knew the power of God, he is agitating. What is your name? People will ask me, how can I go? When God loves us, he doesn't mind to humble himself. He says to Moses, don't worry, my son. Go in my name. My name is I am. I am a living God and I live. He said in John 14, 19, because I live, you will also live. Yes, the living God sent to Moses and with the mighty power of God, Moses delivered the people. My dear friends, that's what today's first reading. Be united with God. If you are not alert, your self-pride or self-pity will destroy you. Don't identify yourselves with what you are or what you have in the world. You belong to heaven. You belong to mighty God. See everything from the eyes of the Lord. You will be safe. You will be a blessing. But the people of Israel who were delivered by the mighty hand of God, what did they do? That is today's second reading. Yes, we find when they were walking, when they were thirsty, God brought water from the rock. And that rock is Christ, says St. Paul. Jesus in the form of cloud, in the form of light, in the form of water, was guiding them. They did not know. When the sun was so heavy, they saw the clouds over them. When it was dark, they saw the light before them. When they were thirsty, they saw water from the rock. But they forgot the Lord who led them. Suddenly they saw in the desert, so many snakes are there. But God protected them as long as they were inside the fence which the Lord had put. But in the desert, the enemy will not keep quiet. He is 24 hours alert to somewhat to pull us away from God, to pull us away from God's presence by promoting self. So they saw the Canadian woman dancing and the hot drinks coming from the trees and they were drinking alcohol. When the Israelite, they saw they left the fence the Lord has put. They knew very well snakes are outside, enemies are outside, Satan is outside. Only when they are in the presence of God they are safe. Only in the Lord they have security. But they forgot. That's what today's second reading says. They went away from the fence of the Lord. They went for drinks, they went for women and 23,000 of people were killed by snakes and they were, their bodies were thrown in the desert. What a sad story. But God is merciful. He continues to lead us. He sent his only son Jesus for us. When Jesus came, in the gospel of today, people went and told Jesus, look, how cruel the human beings. 
pilot, the Roman, has killed the Galileans and mixed the blood of human being with the animal and offered to his God. Jesus said, cruelty comes everywhere. Cruel people are everywhere. But one who turns back to God is the only person live. Yes. Do you think those people who are killed by Pilate, they are more sinners than those who are living? No. This is an example God allows us to know the truth and to return back to God. Returning back to God doesn't mean it's an emotional. You wear some clothes or you do some actions whereby you put up a kind of face. No, it's an action. It's a decision to return back to God. Returning to God means it is metanoia, turning back. Till today, I have lived a particular way of life for me, for my self-pride, depending on myself. But now I realize I belong to God. Only in God I have life. So I turn back my thinking, my desire, my life according to God. That's called repentance. That's why Jesus said, repent, you will live. Otherwise you will perish. Yes, it's the decision of the heart. Jesus gave a parable. A man planted a fig tree in the wine orchard. From the wine orchard, he would have got plenty of money, but he loved that fig tree. That's why he invested in that rich land planting the tree, but the tree did not bear fruit. The heart of the master was so sad, but the gardener said, we give opportunities after opportunities. We will pour water. We will put urea. If it bears fruit, let it be allowed to survive. Otherwise, cut it off and throw it into the fire. Yes, God tells us, you and I belong to him. Though we fall into sin, God never gives us up. He calls us to return to him. He calls us to come to know the truth. Only in him we live. Without him, we, we perish. Yes, God is calling us back. Come back. Return to God. Commit to your life. Make your life with the power and glory of heaven. Let's pray. Lord, we praise you and thank you. We worship you for your glory. In today's first reading from the book of Exodus, from the life of Moses, in the second reading from the book of Hebrews, from the lives of Israelites, from the gospel, from the book of Luke, Lord, you teach us, only in you we have life. Even if we fall astray, your mercy is so great, you call us once again to come back to you. Yes, Lord, you, only in you we are safe and we prosper. And that is our goal and God. Help us to be aware of self-pride and self and self-pity to take us away from you. Let them not take them away from you, Lord. Let me be always united with you that I may take a decision that I will always belong to you. In returning to you is our strength. In you we have peace. Isaiah 30, 15 years said, let that be fulfilled in our lives. In returning to you, let we have peace and serenity. Bless all those who listen to this word of God. May wherever they are, may they all be blessed with your Holy Spirit to take a right decision to belong to you and to depend on you and to overcome their self and live in glory and heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray to you, dear Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have a wonderful day. My dear friends, Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.